Hello, I'm Dr. David Cathcart. I'm a family practice physician from Heartland Regional Medical Center in St. Joseph, and we're going to talk about uh, chemotherapy drugs and their side effects today. In addition to the typical drugs that we have been talking about for chemotherapy, uh, those kind of drugs that interfere with the cell's ability to divide, there are other drugs that are used in, frequently in combination with chemotherapy. Those drugs uh, can be something as simple as various types of vitamins. Some vitamins, and you would certainly want to talk with your doctor before you do this on your own, but some vitamins can enhance the ability of the chemotherapy drug to work better. Hormones are another type of agent that sometimes need to be manipulated when you're on chemotherapy. For example, if you're a woman and you have breast cancer and your particular breast cancer is um, has receptors that are estrogen positive. In other words, estrogen can fuel the growth of that breast cancer cell. You would want to take a anti-estrogen drug to suppress the, your body's ability to fuel that tumor cell with more estrogen. Uh, another drug that is commonly used with chemotherapy is cortisone or prednisone. And prednisone a lot of times will decrease the inflammation associated with other chemotherapy drugs or, or decrease some of the side effects. Other things that are sometimes given, steroids. Anabolic steroids are sometimes given because they help improve your appetite and help, help uh, stave off some of the nutrition losses. Uh, and certainly, uh, there are drugs that treat the common side effects of nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. So there's a whole host of other drugs that are used in combination with standard chemotherapy to help with side effects and to help either enhance the uh, uh, chemotherapeutic agent or chemicals ability to kill cells or, uh, or uh, to diminish the side effects of uh, killing unwanted cells. This is Dr. Cathcart talking about adjunctive chemotherapy drugs.